Hi guys, welcome to the last part of GraphQL with Print Boot from Zero to Hero series. Today we will talk about testing our GraphQL resources. It's going to be a short video compared to the previous one, so let's get started. As usual, I'll write an article on Medium before shooting the video. Hence, if you want to get more details about what we are doing in this video, you can get the article with the corresponding link in the description. To get the code base that I'm using, make sure you check out the code by just copying and pasting this command from the article. But if you are working from your own code base, make sure that you have this dependency in your pom.xml file. Once again, you can just go to the article and copy paste it. Without further ado, let's start coding. Let me get rid of these open windows first. I'm going to show you the GraphQL resources that we want to test. Let me show you the schema definition file first. We have one query request to get a user by its credentials and two mutation requests to create a user with some credential and to delete a user by its ID. These are the resolvers that match our request. In the mutation resolver, we have one for creating a user and another one for deleting a user. If you didn't watch the previous video, you may wonder why the annotations. They are custom annotations that we have defined to tell Spring what is the security level for our resources. You can get to the previous video part two of this series if you're interested in how we did that. In the query resolver, we have only one method that matches the get user GraphQL query. It doesn't have any annotation, so it is secure by default according to the security policy that we've defined in part two. We need to define the queries that we will fire during the test to trigger our GraphQL resources. We will do that in the test resources static files. So go ahead, create a resources directory under the test directory. Within this directory, we will create three files containing our request, starting by the create user GraphQL request, which contains the real query that we want to send to trigger the create user resource. So this is supposed to create a user with these credentials. We are going to do the same for the other GraphQL resources. Create two other files, deleteuser.graphql and getuser.graphql and fill them with this for deleteuser request and this for getuser request. With these three files defined, we then just need to define our JUnit test file. We will start by testing the mutation resources. Create a Java file under your test package and call it user mutation in test for user mutation integration test. Before we start writing tests, we gotta keep this in mind. Our test should run fast and they have to be reliable. That's why we are using this annotation at GraphQL test that will only load a slice of the spring context of our application, which are the beans that are related to the GraphQL engine. And this is going to avoid us loading the full application, saving us a lot of time. Another interesting class is the GraphQL test template that will help us to send real queries, the ones that we have defined in the resources directory, to the GraphQL engine and trigger our resources. In the same purpose of fast running tests, we do not want to load the real underlying beans of our apps. As we are not testing them, we just have to mock them. In our case, we are going to mock the user service on which our resolver relies to get information about the user. Let's define a new user so that we can do some operation with him. 
we are setting a username and a password for that user the ones we have defined in the queries and this for all the tests let's write the first test for creating a user this can throw an io exception because we are reading some files as we are mocking user servers we tell him what to do when the trigger resolver will call its method create user with this particular username and this particular password. Next, we ask the GraphQL template to fire the query that is within, within the create user.graphql file and store the query response in a variable response of type GraphQL response. Next, we make sure that the response is successful, that the ID of the created user is not null, meaning a user has effectively been created, because as you can see, we haven't assigned any ID to our user. Finally, make sure that the username of the created user corresponds to the one that we have in the query, which is equal to the constant test username. We cannot do an assertion on the password and this is a good thing because in our schema we didn't allow the user to get the password when he gets an object of type user. With the same logic, we write the test for resource delete user. Because our resource can only be accessed by an admin user, we bind a fake user with the admin role to trigger the resource. Once again, you might want to check the previous video part 2 of this series to understand how we have configured our security policy. It's pretty much the same actions. We mock the method to be called by the resolver, which in this case is user service .delete user. Then we fire the request from the file delete user.graphql and we do some assertion on the return response. Before launching the test, make sure that the resources directory under the test folder is marked as test resource root to make sure IntelliJ recognizes as the static resources for test purpose. Then create a directory under it called GraphQL and move the three GraphQL files there. This is to match the GraphQL files loading path that we have mentioned in our test class. Now we launch the test and everything runs successfully. Great, let's create the test class for queries as we did for mutations. We name it after user query in test, which stands for user query integration test. The configuration is the same as the mutation test class. First of all, we use add GraphQL annotation for slice testing. Then we declare GraphQL test template and the user service mock. We have only one resource to test, which is get user. And as it is a secure method. We need a mock user with the default spring security user role to access that resource. The instructions are pretty much the same, except that we are calling the request from the appropriate file. Now, if we run the test, everything is green, meaning that our test is successful. With this, we have tested our three resources that are create user, delete user, and also get user. That's it. We have seen how we can define queries and test them against our GraphQL resources in a fast and reliable way. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and clap the article. See you soon.